guys. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. I'm glad you guys are here. Today is going to be one of those videos where we look at another flashlight, and I'll warn you, I've got another one inbound from Olight that should be here tomorrow. We'll do an unboxing. But today, I wanted to get rid of some of the O lights my little ion dapper and go back to talking about the little simple Rovivon A3 which seemed to me like the smallest little light that I could get a keychain light right it has two clicks whoops two clicks and then you can cycle through your different brightnesses hold it and turn it off any brightness you leave on for three minutes let's say I put it on moonlight mode which is right there and I'll leave that on for three minutes and then turn it off it'll regain when I turn it on again to that moonlight mode before I was trying to do it too quickly but then what I love about these is you push and you hold and you get the full throw of the looms so this A3 with a UBC magnetic uh, clip, little stainless or aluminum finish here with this uh, nice texture DLC coating, and it had this little clip-on tail cap that was magnetic. I was browsing Amazon, and I came across a light called the Rovivon Aurora A2. It has 600... 50 lumens. This is a big ass Martech light. We'll get it out of the way. But it is actually a smaller little lamp than the A3, both in diameter of the lighting element, the button, and the size. It's just like a little miniature, a miniature version. It came with the pocket clip, which is magnetic. So I've got that set up to where I can stick it on something. It comes with, in this little box, it comes with the same type of gear that the others came with, whether you want to use a key ring, um, whether you want to use your extra USB-C cap, or whether you want to add a tailpiece, which is this little plastic magnetic piece right here, To this, you can just clip that on as well. So then you've got a tailpiece. I keep the tailpiece off because I'll probably put the key ring or the lanyard there because this one is smaller. Keep in mind, then the Aurora A3, it's got a smaller form factor as the magnets stick it together. But what's awesome about it is the functions are the same. So if I push and hold, I get the full throw of my light. They're both 650 looms, if I'm not mistaken. They both have a single <clears throat> bulb, but they are a little bit bigger in the reflector on the A3. So if I push this twice, it comes on, and then I can cycle through moonlight, low, medium, high, moonlight, low, medium and if i left that on for three minutes and then turned it off and then turned it back on it would remember that setting i didn't leave it off for three minutes but then the greatest thing about it is i can be walking to my car i can pull it out push and hold the button and i get the full throw of the light if i need to set off an sos i just rapidly click it three times and i'll ask you guys if you're sensitive to look away one two three and then I've got a strobe light. Push it and hold it about three seconds to turn it off. But what attracted me to it, they showed it up against some quarters. I did not think it was going to be this much smaller. But this is stainless steel where this one's aluminum. So this one actually weighs a little bit more than this one. But I really dig this, not for the same purpose. This is a great one to drop in your pocket, to have in your bug out bag. 
Um, I really think the uh, Angel Eyes that has the same battery capacity, but then also uses a AAA as a backup is a great one to use in a bug out bag. But this little guy, either on a key ring, on a lanyard, on something that's easy for you to keep it in your pocket. I've currently got it set up because it's so small where it'll go on the bill of my hat and I can turn it on and have it as kind of a spotlight where I'm looking. But all I've got to do is flip this clip around and pop it on this way. And then when I drop it in my pocket, light down, it's more, I guess, what you would call um, a standard pocket clip, right? Because I'm going to have it face down in my pocket. Let's go down one more. See what that looks like. Boom. Yeah, that right there. So it gives me some deep pocket carry. One push on, double click, cycle through my lights with one switch, hold it for about three seconds, turns it off, click it three times, watch out, it's about to be stroby. Great little light. And this is the Rovi Vaughn A2, Aurora A2. I'll leave a link at Amazon where I grabbed it. I want to say it was 38, 39 bucks, but I buy crazy flashlights, guys. I've got a, uh, I was watching Everyday Minimalist, just happened to be watching it the other day when I was off work and noticed that he had picked up a Seeker 4 Mini that was an Olight, which I kind of thought I was over Olights, but it was a Seeker 4 Mini that had really bright throw and he kept trying to figure out why he was only getting two of the three bulbs to light up and then he realized that the third bulb was actually a uv bulb like this one right here so of course i got kind of jonked into that thought it was really cool and uh yeah i ordered one so it should be here tomorrow we'll continue to have flashlights i've got a little storage place for them now but this is the martech probably my biggest one for right now um as a matter of fact i've got two flashlights coming in i've got the uh olight seeker 4 and then i ordered a martech laser because i'm curious how that works so that should be coming in sometime late this week early next week but guys thank you for coming by and checking out the video thank you for putting up with the cat who is if you can't tell right there Right there's her little leg. She's right off camera. But guys, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for one another. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. If you get the chance and you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon next to it. It'll alert you when I release new EDC content, knife content, go live, make community posts, and really just do something different here on the platform. Add content for you guys to engage with. I appreciate you all. I love every, every single one of you. And until we meet again, which will be soon, peace.